Good morning. It's Sunday. A very cold Sunday. Last time I looked at my phone it was two degrees. So why am I out here? I need some fresh air. I've been locked up in the house for a couple of days. I haven't got COVID. I'm not self-isolating or anything, but I just haven't been out. Um, but something did surprise me. Check this out. It may be two degrees. But we have snowdrops. I'm flabbergasted. We have snowdrops. It's two degrees outside. Alrighty. Hi. It is now just afternoon. I have been reading, but I've been making another book. Uh, that's for another vlog, which is hopefully coming soon. But in the meantime, I'm about to start. Daisy pulled it off. Daisy pulls it off, sorry, by Denise Deegan, I believe that's how you pronounce it. This is actually um, a play script I bought ages ago and have yet to read it. Um, yeah, I have no idea what this is about. Um, yeah, schoolgirl novels. Okay, so it's clearly set in a school. Um, Daisy Meredith to submerge her poor elementary school background and find acceptance in the snobby confines of Grangewood School for Young Ladies. Hmm. Okay. This is good. Just by reading that, it's given me sort of my fair lady vibes. I don't know. I need to get going and reading it. So I'll update you soon. I need to have think about lunch as well because it's midday. Um, I did change my hoodie, but I am also still in my pajamas. <laughs> so yeah. I will think about reading this. Look at this lazy pussy cat. Oh boy. Hey Coco. Coco. Yes. Oh, Coco. You don't like it when everyone's alone, left you alone in the house. But you got me, haven't you? Oh, All right then, someone's in a feisty mood. Already, it's significantly a lot of hours have passed. It's almost 8 p.m. And I am very pleased to say I have now finished two books. I have now finished Daisy Pulls It Off. Uh, by Denise Deegan. I think that's how you pronounce the last name. Um, I really enjoyed this. I'm surprised at how much I enjoyed this. Um, reasonably quick read. I read quite slow anyway. Um, so yeah, I'd be really intrigued to see it on stage. It's funny, I read the first line of Daisy's first monologue, it's a script by the way, um, I read the first line of Daisy's first monologue and I thought this seems familiar and I realised that I heard Daisy's, just the first line of Daisy's first monologue being recited in a documentary several years ago. Um, I can't remember what it was from um, but yeah, and I just found that so strange. Um, but I love this. They, it was quite sweet the way she was making friends at this school and the fact that she was just so innocent and going on all these adventures. She was trying to find herself and it was just so sweet and lovely. The one thing I will say is that, um, if you are picking this up and just reading it, I would just say go in 
as if you were probably reading a children's book or a middle grade because that's just the impression that it gave and I think that was the reason why in my reading journal that I gave it three and a half stars just because I'm not 100% sure that was what it was meant the impression that it was meant to give but that's the impression I still really enjoyed it though and who knows I may even reread it in the future the other book that I also finished reading it was a really short audio book um, called Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds oh my word where do I start with this this was amazing um and it was funny the author um uh reads the audio book and he basically did an author's note at the end and he basically described it as um a retelling of a christmas carol and as soon as he said that i was like yes i understand it now so basically we're following will and he has grown up knowing there are rules to follow you follow the rules you don't break the rules if you do you basically end up dead um or severely injured and he's known that all his life but his brother is shot and he believes he knows who did it and is determined to go after this person and he lives in an apartment so as he comes out of the apartment and heads for the lift when he goes into the lift as the lift travels down to each floor a person who has died that will knows comes into the lift and tries to talk him out of it but at the same time also pieces from Will's past kind of come together it's so well written it's written in verse as well and it's just so well lovely so well written it's just a lovely lovely book it's quite heavy you need to be in the right mood for this book but it's quite heavy such key elements I have destroyed the page in my reading journal with the amount of quotes that I have put on it the quotes only are meant to be that much but instead I've done it to be that much <laughs> I'm running out of space I can't remember how many stars that I gave that actually. Four stars. I gave that four stars. I think I didn't give it five stars. I don't know why I didn't give it five stars actually. I'm bumping it up to five stars. That book is amazing. Go and read it. Um, trigger warnings, obviously, for loss of a loved one. Um, there's obviously gang culture involved with that one um, as well I'm trying to think of any more trigger warnings as well oh um, drug use is there any more yeah I think that's it um, yeah and for the other book um, certainly bullying is a massive one massive trigger warning for that one um but actually i think that's the only trigger warning for that one actually oh um possibly for loss of loss of a loved one for that one as well yeah possibly and also there's a there's a name for this as well if you don't like water that could be a trigger warning there as well because the school was set by the coast and the sea and there is an incident where girls actually need rescuing 
over the cliff. So I don't know. Um, if you've read uh, these books, um, comment uh, any trigger ones that I've missed out. Because I'm struggling, <laughs> once again, struggling with the trigger warnings. What's new? Um, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it there. I've been talking for way too long anyway. Um, I did do some baking. I haven't been reading. I did take a break and did some baking and made some cookies. I will insert a photo now. Okay. And I, I've certainly got another vlog coming. So hopefully that will be up soon. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. I will be back soon. Be sure to check out my other content as well. Lots of love. Happy reading. Bye.